Hello, hi guys. Uh, today we are going to look at our uh, forces, which is engineering science and theory. So uh, today I'm going to show you how to resolve uh, forces into a vertical component and horizontal component. Okay. So if we are solving forces, uh, we don't solve forces at an angle. So what we have to do is to resolve this force into a straight line which is uh, into two components which is vertical component and horizontal component so if we are we're having a, a right angle triangle like uh, this right angle triangle which is like uh, this so under a right angle triangle we are having a theta uh, which is our which is our angle and we are having hypotenuse which is represented by r and our adjacent side which is represented by x and our opposite side which is represented by uh, by y so uh, if we have to resolve uh, forces uh, you in a triangle so we know that we have a trigonometric ratio like a sine sine theta which is equals to opposite over adjacent so over hypotenuse so in this case uh, opposite side is y over our adjacent side or our hypotenuse side is r so if you have to resolve a, a vertical component forces like uh, let's go back to uh, this case in this case we are having uh, 30 newtons and we're having an angle of 45 so our 30 newtons in this case is uh, r which is 30 uh, newton and we have to resolve this 30 newton okay we're having uh, 45 uh, degrees yeah, which is our theta. So we have to resolve this state Newton into a vertical component and into a horizontal component. So to resolve uh, this state, that means we're having sine uh, 45, which is our theta, is equals to y, which is our horizontal, which is our vertical component, over our adjacent, our sorry, over hypotenuse, which is our hypotenuse is. 30 newton so then we cross multiply that means y is equals to 30 multiplied by sine 45 so in this case our horizontal uh, component or our vertical component that means our vertical component is equals to 30 sine or 30 sine 45 so uh, that means uh, here, which uh, this one is our side of a uh, hypotenuse, is our side of op. Come on. Is this one is our side, which is equal to y, which is our vertical uh, component side. So uh, in this case, that means uh, our vertical side is 30, 30 sine 40. And remember to put uh, the direction because uh, when you're answering the question, they say determine the horizontal component or the vertical component uh, with the magnitude and direction. So in this case, our direction is going upwards because we're having uh, this force pointing upwards. If we resolve this force into a vertical component, is pointing uh, upwards, which is 30 which is uh, 30 sine 45 okay then uh, we do so in uh, our horizontal component side we are having uh, x which is represented uh, by the trigonometric ratio say cos cos theta is equals to is equals to adjacent over hypotenuse uh, sorry, okay. I just said, I just said, uh, over hypotenuse. So in this case, I just said is x, 
over our hypotenuse side is uh, R. So to resolve this, uh, uh, we want X, which is our horizontal component. With X, which equals to, we then we cross multiply R cos theta. Uh, that means uh, our R in this case is 30 Newton. So we are having 30 cos 45. Okay. So uh, this one is our vertical, uh, is our horizontal component. So if we check uh, this side, that means uh, if we resolve this uh, force at an angle of 45 to the horizontal side, it's going to point at uh, west, which is our left hand side. Then uh, this force is going to the left. It's going to the left, it's going to be 30 cos 45. Okay, so always uh, if you if you are working with forces, we don't solve forces at an angle. So we only solve forces at in a vertical component or horizontal component. So we have to resolve all these forces uh, into a horizontal component and vertical component. Like if we are having uh, this side of uh, 20. Newton. So we have to resolve this 20 Newton into our horizontal component is going to be 20 cos 60, uh, which is going in uh, this direction because uh, this uh, force is pointing uh, at an angle of 60. Then, if you resolve this force into a horizontal component, is going to point. Uh, this side. So that means our uh, our direction is going to be uh, east, which is our right hand side. And then we we'll resolve again this force into a horizon, into a vertical component, which is going to be this side. And this side is equal to uh, this side because these two lines are parallel. Um, okay, so. 20 newtons uh, is going to be 20 newtons sine 60, which will point uh, in this direction. It's going to the south, or which is our downward uh, side. So, and then we resolve uh, this uh, side. So, remember, guys, uh, don't cram uh, this because uh, many students uh, they are. Uh, they want, they always want the 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 vertical or oh, the horizontal component they always uh, use a cos cos into the horizontal component but in this case uh, we can see that our right uh, our right an, our right angle okay our right angle triangle is is up it's upside down so uh, our opposite side is this side which will make uh, this side a horizontal component and our our adjacent side is this uh, side so that means uh, in this case uh, to, to the horizontal component we are going to have uh, 50 sine 35 because uh, this one is an opposite to is opposite to the angle, so always if uh, we're having an opposite uh, opposite side, it's equal to a uh, sine. So uh, this point will point to the this direction, and then uh, to this one is to our horizontal component. So for our vertical component, is going to be 50. 50 cos cos for cos 35 okay so uh, it's going to point in this direction it's going upwards so if we have to resolve all the forces uh, in this uh, triangle right angle triangle so uh, this side which is our adjacent side in this uh, right angle triangle is going to be uh, 50 cos 
85 and then uh, this side which is our horizontal side because these two lines are parallel this side is going to be 50 sine 35 okay uh, if you are having problem uh, with uh, this uh, diagram you can subtract uh, we know that uh, this one is at uh, 90 degrees so to find uh, this angle on this side is going to be a uh, 90 degrees minus 35 which is going to give us 55 degrees so uh, we can resolve uh, this force into 65 degrees so if now we are having a uh, this side yeah. so do, you no longer using a uh, this angle or oh, you no longer using uh, the angle of 35 now if you are using the angle of uh, 55 this side is uh, your horizontal component your horizontal component is going to be 50 uh, cos 50 cos uh, 55 and then your your vertical component is going to be uh, 50 sine 30 or oh, 55 so it's going upwards so if you having problem uh, dealing with this uh, uh, angle if the angle is in the horizontal so in the vertical component side you can resolve this angle to in to be in a vertical into a horizontal component so by m subtracting 90 minus 35 is give us a 55 so this uh, is our side which is our angle at the, this side is a 55 so uh, we know that uh, if we resolve our uh, uh, forces we if we have a force at an angle we know that a uh, force at an angle is having two component side which is our horizontal component and a vertical component then uh, a force at an angle is always having two component which is vertical and horizontal component okay so uh thanks for watching guys uh watch up my next video where we'll discuss uh how to solve the sum uh, the vertical component the sum of the vertical component the sum of the horizontal component and then uh, how to calculate the uh, resultant force and its uh, direction thanks for watching cheers